hello guys today we will learn how to make threading so let us start first click on create new sketch if you don't have the combo view on the left side of the graphic window just go in the view and here in the views you have something as the combo view just click on it so let us start the dimensions of our threading would be 10 mm radius 10 mm height and 2 mm pitch so we'll start by making a helix which has the height same as that of the pitch so we have to make a helix which has 10 mm radius 2 mm pitch and 2 mm height so after going in part here there is something as creation of primitives just click on it so in the drop down you'll see helix so after this give the dimensions pitch of 2 mm height of 2 mm and a radius of 10 mm click on create here we have our helix now the next step would be creating the sketch we want to sweep along this helix which would give us our threading so go to the part design now our helix has the normal as the z direction so it's in the xy plane so we have to make this sketch in the xz plane so click on create sketch and the xz plane so for the timing it would be better if we have grid as 1mm it would make our life easier so so click on polyline it's here and make the triangle now the dimensions of the triangle are such that this dimension should be the same as that of pitch so now since our grid is of 1 mm and our pitch is of 2 mm so this length is 2 mm the same as of our pitch so if you change your, change your pitch just make sure you have this dimension as that of the pitch so having made this click on close go back again to part now here there's something as utility to sweep click on it so we want to sweep the sketch along the helix so add the sketch on the right side under the sweep just remember to click on create solid and frame a the frene means the frene serif frame so you can search on it and click on the helix so as the sweep part click on ok there we go we have our sweep now our next step would be to create a circle having diameter greater than that having diameter greater than that of the diameter of the helix or the sweep so let us start again go back to creation of primitives here you can see circle so give a radius since our radius of the sweep is 10 mm uh, for the timing let us give it as 15 mm so create it there we go we have a circle you can toggle the visibility of other objects from here just click on the object you want to toggle the visibility of and click space there you go. so for the timing I'll just make the circle visible only the circle visible now we want to convert this circle into a face now for that there's an option here as create shapes click on it click on face from edges click on this circle yeah. create there we go we have the circle so now we have the face from the circle we created previously and we have the sweep now we want to cut the face using the sweep so for that first click on face press control and click on sweep after this click on the make cut of two shapes it's a boolean operation over here so 
once you click on it you'll get some error as uh, you may get uh, lead to some unexpected results that's completely okay because you are cutting a face using a solid so just ignore it and click on yes there we go we have the cut face it's not exactly a circle so after this now we have to make the final helix along which we want to make uh, you want to sweep this cut face which would give us our final threading so again click on primitives helix so our pitch would be 2 mm the height 10 mm as we decided at the start of the tutorial and a radius of 10 mm so there we go we have our helix click on close again click on sweep oh before that sorry just go to draft I don't know what that is but okay so I'll toggle the visibility of the helix for the time being now we have to clone this cut face for that just click on the cut face here and there we have the clone <laughs> so click on clone so we have the clone face now now after this after clicking on clone face just click on the arrow here so so it downgrades the face clone face uh, to a wire so, so you can toggle the visibility here you have you have the wire mind it it's not a circle so after this go back again to part now so we want to sweep this wire along this helix so click on utility to sweep Let's add wire as the object to sweep again click on create solid and frame and give the helix as our sweep part click on ok so it's processing here we go we have the threading. Thanks for watching.